Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding If you really like my videos please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates In the last video I have discussed about various medium access control strategies the medium access control strategies are broadly classified into three types one is random access control mechanisms then we have the channelization control access mechanisms and then we have controlled access control mechanisms okay so coming to the random access control mechanisms they are again classified into aloha csma and then csma by cd and then we have a csma by ca and even i have discussed about the in the aloha the sub categories as pure aloha and slotted aloha i hope you have watched the entire video so that you can understand the concept in a better way in this video i want to discuss about the csma mechanism now csma even we will call it as carrier sense carrier sense multiple access so even it can be shortcut we can call it as a csma okay which is the name itself will say the mechanism it will sense the carrier and we have a multiple things means multiple nodes are there in a medium and all of them want to send the data if any node want to send the data before sending the data it has to sense the medium so let's take that you have a common medium and node a is connected node b is connected to that one and node c is there and node d is there now if any node want to transfer the data to any other node first they need to sense the channel if this channel is free channel or the transmission medium if it is free then only the node is allowed to transfer the data if the medium is busy see whenever you are sensing the medium or channel you will get two cases one is that busy or idle if it is busy you will not send the data you will wait till the channel is again will be idle if the channel is idle or it is free then you will send the data are you able to understand it or not let's take that node a want to transfer the data to node d then what it will do first it will sense the channel once the channel is idle or free then what it will do it will transfer the frames okay now in the meantime node c want to transfer the data to node b then again what it will do it will also sense the channel now if you see that the still the frames are here so when the c node c sends the channel it will be again idle are you able to understand because the frames are here when the node c checks for the channel the channel is idle here so what it will do again even it can also transfer the frames to the node b now again what will happen again there will be a collision are you able to understand because node a sends the channel at that instant and now node c also sends the channel within its vicinity then what is happening again there will be a collision so the collision will be depend on the propagation delay are you able to understand what is a propagation delay i have discussed we have various delays one of the delay is propagation delay will be depend on the distance and the velocity distance between the source and the destination and the propagation speed if the propagation delay is high then there is a chance of collision in the csma mechanism are you able to understand now if you, there is a collision then what will happen again the node has to retransfer the packets are you able to understand so this is the working process of a csma mechanism now we have three persistent mechanisms are there in csma one is one persistent mechanism these are three variations in the csma mechanism we have one persistent we have non persistent csma 
ओके वन परसिस्टेंट सी एस एम ए नॉन परसिस्टेंट सी एस एम ए एंड वी हैव पर पी परसिस्टेंट सी एस एम ए नाउ लेट मी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस थ्री वेरिएशन नाउ कमिंग टू द वन परसिस्टेंट सी एस एम ए इफ देर इज अ टू चांसेस इफ नोड ये सेंस द चैनल इट इधर बिजी और आइडियल एज अ डिस्कस डर If it is idle, it will start transferring the frames. If it is busy, I said it will wait. Now, when it comes to the one persistent, it will keep on searching when the channel will be free, when the channel will be free like that. It will keep on sensing the channel. Are you able to understand? Meaning is that it is doing the busy waiting, like the CPU will do in the programmed I/O in the computer organization course. so if you see that in one persistent csma if the channel is idle then the node will transfer the data if the channel is busy it will keep on sensing when the channel will be free once the channel is idle it will send the packet but what it is doing it is keep on searching when the channel will be free so this is about the one persistent csma when it comes to the non persistent csma if the channel is busy and the channel is idle these are the two situation if the channel is idle again it even in the non persistent csma also it will transfer the packet if the channel is busy it will not keep on searching whether the channel is free or not when it comes to the one persistent but whereas in the non persistent csma it will sense the channel after some random amount of time so it will keep a random amount of time after the once the random amount of time becomes zero then it will again sense the channel if the channel is idle then it will transfer the packet okay it will not keep on sensing the channel is busy or not or free or not it will wait for some random amount of time and then if the channel is free then only it will send the packet okay so this is about the non persistent csma coming to the p persistent csma when it comes to the csma if a channel will sense the channel then what will happen the channel can be busy or idle am i right or wrong see these all are the csmas but there is a variation in the one persistent csma non persistent csma p persistent csma what i want to say is they all are basically csma so in csma if a node want to transfer the packet it has to sense the channel when it sends the channel there will be two conditions whether the channel is busy or the channel is idle if the channel is busy it will wait till the channel is free are you able to understand if the channel is idle it will send the frame with the probability of p that is what the thing important with the probability of p it will send the frame and with the probability of 1 minus p or even we will say the probability q which is equal to 1 minus p it will defer sending the frame are you able to understand if the channel is busy it will wait for the channel will be idle if the channel is idle it will send the frame with the probability of p and with the probability of 1 minus p it will defer sending the frame so i hope you have understood the the basic csma mechanism and the variations in the csma mechanism such as one persistent csma non persistent csma and p persistent csma if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day